bring you the tag called Seven Deadly Sins of Beauty. And I saw this on Samantha Sherman's channel. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that tag because I have not done a tag in a long time. And tags for me are like a way, sorry, I was like grabbing my laptop to get the, the questions. That looks really awkward. You were like, what is she doing? Um, but tags for me are a way to get to know you. Um, I answer the questions, but it's a way for you guys to post a video response, and you guys can post comments, but I love seeing your guys' faces and reactions and holding things up, and it's just a very, very bonding experience for me. Um, so I would love it if you guys post a video response. I tag absolutely everybody, and even if you don't post a video response, I would love to hear what you have in the comments. So I'll post the questions in the bottom tab. Be sure to check the bottom tab right now so you guys know what the questions are, um, and so that you can answer them too, but I will kind of get into it. So the first question is greed. What is your most expensive beauty item and what is your most inexpensive beauty item? The most inexpensive beauty item I've ever purchased has been the strawberry punch flavored lip gloss. This was in the dollar section of Target, but it was on sale in the dollar section. So I think it cost me like 25 cents or something. Um, it works actually pretty well and it smells pretty good. It's a pretty cute color. It smells super, super yummy. Um, Mm, it smells super yummy and it's a really pretty color and I actually really like it too which is shocking because a lot of cheap cosmetics I don't like. Other than this Jodina cosmetics, I find it for like a buck 19 at Food Max which is really really good. Um, my most expensive item is the Clairsonic Pro and the reason why is because yes this thing is expensive but the brush heads are ridiculous. Out the door, this was something like $580, and the reason why is because the Clarisonic Pro has different settings, and I think this counts because it's a beauty item, because it's what I use for my acne occasionally. Um, if you're in antibiotics, don't use this, or skin thinners, don't use this, because it will cause pigmentation like it did for me. Um, but the Clarisonic Pro, it has different like settings, and you need a different brush head for each different setting. Um, you don't need one, but you should get a different brush head for each different setting. Um, so I ended up getting those, and it, it just cost too much money. It was like, really? And it's like, <laughs> I haven't even charged it. So that was the most expensive. Um, Rath, what beauty products do I have a love-hate relationship with? And what product has been the hardest for me to get? I'll start with that one. The hardest for me to get was a Dazzle Glass. It was in Cosmic. It was a bright blue Dazzle Glass. You guys know I'm a Dazzle Glass addict. I collect them. Um, Cosmic, I could not find in any store. I went from store to store to store to store to store and I could not find it. Finally, I went to go look for it online and I was very, very scared of buying off of eBay. By the way, um, be very, very careful when buying off of eBay. I have gotten so many like bad products that are fake and stuff like that. I do not recommend it, but I found it online and a dollar glass is normally $18. I found it for $45. So I could not find it in any store. I was calling around. I was like, what can I do? I ended up buying it online for $45 flipping dollars, which is a total ripoff, but it was nowhere else on the entire internet. And about... About six months after I got it, I lost it because it was in my purse and then it just disappeared. So I was very, very upset, but it was blue and it was actually kind of cool because it didn't turn up blue on your lips. It was a little bit blue, but it was like an iridescent shimmery blue. So it kind of looks purple. It was like really, really edgy. Um, but that was the hardest for me to get because I tried for months to find it. And I would drive everywhere and like walk around the mall everywhere and try to get it. Um, it was awful. So what was the other question? Oh, love-hate relationship has been this Almay Smart Balance Foundation. I absolutely adore this because it works great on my skin. I feel moisturized. I do not get cakey. Um, it's a light coverage so my skin can breathe, but it still covers pretty well. But I hate it because it comes off like eight different colors on my face. It's supposed to be a skin balancing makeup, like it transforms to the color of your skin. Sometimes I put it on and I'm like ghosty, make a ghost ghost. And then sometimes I put it on and it's like, whoa, like you know, plastic surgery went wrong or something. I don't know, like it's ridiculous. I have mine in light 100. I don't know if it has to do with the weather. I don't know if it has to do with the heat of your hands. I don't know if it has to do with how much you buff it into your skin. I don't know, but the color is ridiculous. But the formulation is really, really good otherwise. Um, gluttony, what is the most delicious beauty product? This was actually really hard for me. Um, cause I don't know. I actually have a sugar scrub, which is delicious. I eat my sugar and honey scrubs, which are delicious, but those I make myself, so I don't know if it counts. Um, Clean Start is by Dermalogica. I've been using it for my skin a little bit. This is a Clean Start lip product. So yes, they make lip products. This, I want to eat. I have eaten it before. Don't ask me why they're making a lip product. It's like it's citrusy. 
it's just delicious. And when you eat it, it kind of tastes like glue. So it's like, oh, it smells so good. I wanted to eat it, but now it tastes icky and then it gets like stuck in your tongue. It's like really gross, like lip gloss in your tongue, you know? But I always end up eating it. I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm going to eat it. And I eat it. I'm like, why did I eat it? I know how it tastes. So I eat this all the time. I eat it more than I wear it. And like, I, I'll be honest, I don't just put it on and eat off my lips. I think I eat it out of the tube sometimes. I don't think I do. I do. Mmm, tastes so good. It doesn't taste good, though. Mmm, it just, it smells delicious. So I don't know why they do things like that to me. I see now it's like in my teeth again. Sorry, that was really gross. That's like what I use this thing for though. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. what, okay, sloth. What beauty product do you neglect, neglect due to laziness? And you guys have noticed this. You have totally noticed this. I do not use a lot of concealer. I really, really should, and I know that it would help me a ton, but I don't. Problem is, I have so many blemishes on my face that to cover and conceal them all would take me hours upon hours, because I was sitting there with the brush, pimple, 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 scar, 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 pimple, 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 pigmentation from the Clarisonic Pro, scar, 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 pimple, 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 pimple. And it's like, I would be here all day long. So even though they're amazing and even though they work, I neglect them. This is one of my favorite. It's Cure Mask. This is like the best covering coverer ever um, that I've used so far that I've been trying out. I've really been loving it recently. But you guys have noticed I don't use concealer just because it would take me hours to get on every little spot. I probably should though. It might help. Um, pride. What beauty products give you the most self-confidence? Normally mascara. Usually mascara, blush, and foundation just to cover my acne. But the one that I'm but the one that I'm actually going to hold up is the Makeup Forever HD because this is what got me through confidence of my years of hiding in my room. Um, I would not leave my room in the morning without makeup on because I felt like it was a burden to my family. I left regular school and I did private school so that I didn't have to see other children. I would just sit at home and do homework all day. It wasn't homeschooling because I would still see a teacher, but it was just me and the teacher one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but this is what enabled me to model. Now I've found other full coverage foundations, but this is the one that just really got me through everything. And I still use it a lot. So this is the Makeup Forever HD, I have to say. This is a pride. Um, lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite gender? Wow. Um, my boyfriend. I really like him. Um, for me, it really has a lot of things. I like my men to be metrosexual. And attributes, does this mean like personality or does this mean like features? Um, Personality-wise, he has to be fun-loving. He doesn't have to be funny, he just has to be like having fun. Like he has to be ready to go climb a tree with me. He has to be ready to go, um, you know, like scream at people and like make a fool of ourselves in public and just have a great time. He has to be very romantic, you know. He has to be the kind of guy who likes to hold a woman, and, you know, just someone who's very, very there for the other person, which my boyfriend is, so I couldn't be happier. Um, he has to be someone who's very, very protective. I like, I don't like big, strong muscle men. I don't know, that's just not my thing. I do not like muscles a lot. I like a guy who's toned and fit and can, you know, he's strong, but he's not like, oh, how do you like get your arm around to wipe your bottom when you go to the bathroom? Like, that's so gross. Um, but he has to be strong. He has to be very protective though. He has to know like what like I'm comfortable with and what I'm not like in social situations. And he has to protect me from the things that make me uncomfortable. Like, um, you know, if I'm not comfortable, I don't drink, and even if I was legally allowed to drink, I wouldn't drink. And he has to be comfortable telling that person who's being like, come on, Cassandra, take a drink. He has to be comfortable saying, hell no, she said she's not going to, she's not going to, leave her alone. Um, he has to be protective. He has to want to know where I am all the time. He needs to really care about what I'm doing and make me feel special and loved and things like that. And then physically, I like metrosexual men. Metrosexual is guys who are straight but take care of their appearance. I love that. And I love my boyfriend because he does it too. Guys that are very, very hygienic. Guys that wear male cologne every day. Guys that use tongue scrubbers and floss their teeth and do their hair. And my boyfriend even shaves sometimes. He doesn't shave like so that it's completely cut off. But he shaves so it's not like... It's not super, super hairy, but it's not hairless. It's like a medium shave. And it's great because it's like he still has hair, but he's not super hairy. And I love it because he's not a muscular muscle man. So yeah, that's generally what I like. And then the last one is Envy. What kind of product would you like to receive as a gift? And that's kind of hard for me because I feel like gifts are really personal and we don't really need anything. Um, so probably just like a I don't know, like a high-end cosmetic that I just don't want to spend the money on, like La Mer Cream. Um, it's really not all that good for your skin, but it's like, you know, freaking $500. Not that one in particular, but you know, like really high-end cosmetics that it's like, 
I'm not gonna spend $100 on a lipstick, but if someone really wants to get it me for me as a gift, you know, I'm not gonna say no. Um, that's kind of ridiculous though, because people aren't really gonna do that. But in a perfect world, uh, that'd be a good gift, just because like you don't want to spend it on yourself. Maybe someone else would, um, or you could get it for someone else, etc. Uh, but the reality, probably the best would be like perfume or lip gloss, just because lip gloss you can't really go wrong with. Um, and perfume, gosh, I love perfume. There are some scents that don't really work for me, but generally they do. Um, same with lip gloss. Generally any kind of lip gloss works just because it's easy. Because um, with lip gloss you can still see your natural color underneath, so it can't really offset that much. Um, so those are my seven deadly sins of beauty. I hope you guys have liked this post. And I really hope that you guys will kind of post your favorites and stuff like that so I can get to know you guys too. Uh, so let me know in the comments or post a video response. And I look forward to watching them and talking to you all tomorrow. Bye.